Okay, so let's take away some of the confusion about what juicer that you're gonna buy. There are so many now, different makes and models and types that it can become incredibly confusing. So I'm hoping not to add to the confusion, I'm hoping to take away. I wanna be clear, the number one question I get asked, Jason, at this moment in time, what is the best juicer in the world? And I will tell you now, it hasn't been invented. As far as I'm concerned, the best juicer in the world will be one, and if you're watching this and can invent this, please do. It would almost look like a, a chest freezer, if you will, or a coffee machine, where you load your fruits and vegetables in the night before. It's got a built-in fridge, and there's the recipe that you want. You come down in the morning, better still, it's on a timer, and then you press a button, starts to make your juice in a slow way to retain the nutrients. As you go and have a shower, come back down, not only is the juice made, but the machine has cleaned itself. Now I think we're at least 10 years away from having such a juicer. So until then, you're thinking, well, what juicer is best for me? And that's key. You know, this video is about what juice extractor is best for me and my needs. Now, there are three types of juicer really. They've all got their flaws and they've all got their perks as well. So you've got to think and you've got to balance it up. Sometimes it's budget. Look, we've got a slow juicer here otherwise known as a masticating juicer. And please always be careful when you say that word. That's why I now call them slow juicers, because I'm such a child. Uh, but anyway, slow juicers with an auger designed specifically for green leafy vegetables, for juicing things like wheat, grass, and so on. What is it, what's the flaw with it? Well, they're quite expensive, depending on the machine. You've got twin gears and everything else. Also, you are never gonna get a whole apple into one of these slow juicers. So, Time-wise, not only are they slow to use, but of course, at the same time, you've got to chop everything up very, very small and put them into a small chute. But the quality of the juice is superior. There's no question about that because it creates less heat friction than all the other juices. Not just this model, this is just one model. There's all kinds of models, upright models, but they're called slow or cold press juicing. Cold press juicing, slow juicing, one and the same thing. They're kind of fiddly to wash as well. So you've got to be careful. And of course, they can cost quite a lot of money. But if I turn it on like this, it's normally, I want to do this thing justice. See, that sounds quite loud, but you know what? They're not normally that loud. Slow juicers are normally pretty quiet, whisper quiet. But that's a slow juicer, it's quite expensive. It can be hard to use. But again, the quality of the juice is probably one of the best in the world. Over this side, I'm gonna to come to the middle one in a second, you've got probably the most common juicer in the world, which is a fast juicer. First of all, I want you to see the difference here. So we turn it on, you can hear it. Now, first of all, you've got neighbors, right? You've gotta think about that. So it depends on whether this is the juicer for you or not. It's in between 10 to 15,000 revs per minute. Now, what does that mean? Well, that, what that means is it's gonna rip the flesh so quickly, it's gonna really power through any fruit or veg, you're just gonna go bam, 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 and you're just gonna go through that. The problem is, is that it will create a degree of heat friction. And so it depends on whether speed over quality is more important to you. You can fit whole apples in here, whereas in the slow juices that you can't. For years, I've genuinely been looking for, is there a middle ground, is there a middle ground? And now, there's fusion juicing. It's kind of almost, in a way, a fusion of the two technologies. If I turn it on, you'll straight away understand what I mean. It's a slow juicer, but yet it looks like a fast juicer. So it's, it's a low induction motor. Is it as slow as the slow juicer? No. Is it anywhere near as fast as the fast juicer? No. Is it somewhere poised in the middle? Yes, it is. We're also looking for good value as well. So in terms of pricing structure, of course, that fits in the middle at the same time. So this is the, the, the low induction motor, heat friction. That's what it's about. Can you whack everything through it really fast like a fast juicer? No. Do you have to cut everything up like a slow juicer? No. So it's somewhere in the middle. These are 
the three main ones. You know, you've got slow juicing, you've got fast juicing, or you've got fusion juicing. That's what you tend to have. And also, I know the vast majority of people doing the 28-day Super Juice Me plan like it because it kind of goes along with their booster, their blender, and aesthetics are important to them. But again, any juicer is better than no juicer. You know, people say to me, what is the best exercise program in the world? I always say, the one you will do, right? So that's what it comes down to. In the same way, what's the best juicer? The one you will use. It's no good having a four or 500 pound juicer if you're first kicking out, if it's gonna end up in a cupboard. You're better off getting, you know, a lot of slightly inferior nutrition than none of the best. Because if you're not gonna use it, you're not getting any anyway. So sometimes a middle ground might be what you're looking for. My mission is to juice the world. Right, so therefore, whatever juicer you got, juice the world, and that's the way it is. So there are kind of three types of juicer that are on the market currently, but always and always go to juicemaster.com because we're always looking at the new innovations, finding out what's going on around, or go to superjuiceme.com as well. And it might give you a better idea of thinking, well, actually, now I've made my mind up, I need something that's relatively quick, but nutrition's important to me, and is it easy to clean? So you might go for the fusion, or you might go, no, 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 actually, I want the best quality, and I don't mind how long it takes. And other people go, I haven't got time for anything. Anything at all. I don't know, I don't know, I'm just gonna biz and go and I don't really care that much whether I apply some heat friction. The choice will always be yours. Hope that helps a little bit.